Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming this morning. I wonder if we could just start this morning with a moment of appreciation for what unfolded yesterday and thank everyone who's been working to make this happen. So if we could take a moment. And I know I say this every time, but I, I will never get tired of saying it. Ayana, it is such a privilege to be able to work with you here at ASU and to see the transformations that you've been working. Um, I am truly honored to be here today. Best dean ever. <laughs> I, I'm gonna say it's possible the bar for that was very low, so. <laughs> uh, Anyway, I, I'm just going to welcome you to ASU, and for those of you who have been coming to Race Before Race for a while, we're in iteration three right now, uh, you know that I call our attention to the ASU charter as a way of grounding my welcome because it matters what place this is. And this is, this is a university that is governed and motivated by its charter, and it is a charter of inclusion. And because of that charter, it makes it very easy to proceed and to know what we have to do. Um, and I'm thankful for that grounding. I wanna just call your attention to two things that came up in that short video, if you had the time to watch it. And if you didn't, it, it's online. Um, one is when our president, Michael Crow, talks about the difficulty of having come to realize that we academics created many of the problems that haunt the American educational scene at this moment, especially in the ways in which we became overly enamored of sorting people, of moving them from one place to another and telling a lot of people you can't come here or this is the place where you belong of really accepting the inbuilt elitism that the Ameri American educational system has been built upon. And we see that at every level. And I think one of the things that we heard loudly yesterday and have heard repeatedly throughout Race Before Race is that without structural change, profound structural change to the very educational system, we're always going to be stuck. And the second is uh, an observation that Brian Brayboy, my, my colleague here in the School of Social Transformation makes. And it's a very straightforward observation. It's very commonsensical. He simply says that the child of two Rhodes Scholars is not starting from the same place as the child who comes from a single family home or a child who learns to be proficient in English later in life. We all know that, but we never act on it. We act as if everyone starts from the same place. We define excellence in a way that gives a boost to the children of Rhodes Scholars. We need to stop doing that. The mission of ASU, and I always say the mission of ACRMS, and the mission of all the humanities initiatives that we have here is to ensure that everyone gets included, no matter what their starting point is. They deserve to be welcomed into a larger community. For too long in this country, for too long in this country, a country club model has been the very structure of the humanities. And I'm grateful to conversations with Ayana to really think through what that model means. We don't necessarily openly turn people away at the door to the humanities because we don't need to. We make it evident through the approaches we take, the materials we love and how we love them our refusal to listen when terrible histories are pointed out to us, we make evident to students and to our co would-be colleagues that they'd feel more comfortable somewhere else. We don't need to close the door because through our very language, our very way of approaching and not welcoming, we steer them into other places. How is it that we can, instead of making others unwelcome, welcome them into a community and enable them to make those already in the community live with their uncomfortableness for a while. Even if the door to the humanities doesn't get closed exactly, there's no welcome mat in front of it. The room on the other side of that door is filled with outdated furniture, kind of has a funky smell. Who would want to be in that room? 
It's time to renovate. Welcome to Race Before Race.